Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're looking at how we can build worksheets in Canva. Canva is a great tool for teachers. I talk about it a lot on my channel with its whiteboard and presentation tools. But in this video, we're looking at worksheets and how Canva's templates and designs are perfect for really any class. So let's get started with the most important question. Is it free? So yes, it is absolutely free. So you can see here, there are a number of different plans. In this video, we're looking at how I use a free plan to build these worksheets. So here I am on the Canva homepage on my account, Charlie's Lessons, and to find the worksheet, we've got a couple of ways we can do this. So if you see here, we're looking at some example designs we can make. If you don't see worksheet here, we can just go to this arrow on the right hand side and go to see all. And then we should see below either common layouts and sizes, a worksheet. If you don't see this either, then you can just go straight up to the top and go to worksheet. And we're going to choose either portrait or landscape. And once you select this, it's gonna take you directly to the worksheet design. So here we are on a blank worksheet design in Canva. I've given it a title already, which is an important thing to do before you get started. So on the left hand side, we've got designs and these are all the different templates that we can use uh, to build our worksheet. So we firstly have recently used premium templates, which is when if there is a crown in the bottom right hand corner, this means this is a pro template and it means we'll have to pay for a Canva subscription to use this. So we're going to avoid these for now. If we continue to scroll down, we've got some examples of other worksheets we could use. Now, what usually happens is that you see a worksheet that might not have the content you're looking for, but does have the design that is appealing for you or could be appealing for your students. And these are the ones that we're interested in. So let me just show you what happens when you do decide to choose a template on the left hand side. If we just hover over the template, we'll see that it consists of three pages and each page is offering us something different. So if I select this, and I'm going to go to apply all three pages. I can now see in the center, I've got all three pages now added to my design. Now let's imagine I didn't want to apply all three pages. So again, so I just select the template and perhaps I just want to include the color page. So I just click on the color page, the plus sign, and now this is gonna go directly into my design. The function you're gonna be using most is the search function. So if we go to the top left hand side, we can search for keywords words that are for your class. So let's imagine that one of the topics coming up in your class is on food. So I'm just going to go to food and you can see here it has a, a range of worksheets that are related to this topic. So we've got some simple vocabulary worksheets here. I've got a ready-made worksheet on how some food is healthy or unhealthy. Again, this is something that I would definitely do with my students in class. Let's try another topic such as free time activities. And again, right away, I can already see some templates that are about this topic. So for example, I've got a free time activity word search. I've got this one deciding whether free time activities are indoor or outdoor. And I've also got these speaking cards, which again is about the topic of free time or hobbies. So you can see there very quickly, just using a few keywords, I was able to find worksheets that I could take straight into the classroom. Another really smart thing that Canva does is it gives you suggestions from templates that you've chosen. So for example, remember we were looking at these free time activities and we had these speaking cards about hobbies. Now selecting this template and placing it in my design on the left hand side, Canva has now given me more like this. And I've actually got speaking cards on other topics which are all using the same design. So I've got speaking cards on games, I've also got on friendship, on sports. And so these are all again ready to go and if I like this design, then I could use this over and over again, but just changing the topic. If you are a fan of using Canva in the classroom, then go check out my tutorials on how to use the presentation tool in Canva, which is just linked above right here. And also Canva's whiteboard, which is a great option for online teachers, which I'm just also linking above right now. So I'm not gonna go in this video into how we build a worksheet from scratch because as you and I both know, 
us as teachers, we just don't have enough time sometimes for things like this. So what I'm going to show you is how we can take a design or template that we actually like and just tweak it a little bit so that it's suitable for our classroom. So here I have the sports speaking cards using the same template as the hobbies speaking cards. But let's imagine that this is not specific enough for my class. Let's say that I'm teaching adults and we're talking about a work life balance. I'm just going to take a look at this title and I'm going to write here work life balance balance. I'm going to delete these two people skiing and playing football because this has nothing to do what with what we're talking about. I'm going to change these questions. Now I'm going to have to think about let's say eight questions about work-life balance. So all I have to do is just double click on the text box and just start writing. So what time do you get home from work for example i also want to add some elements i want something that's related to what i'm talking about here so i'm gonna go to graphics okay i'm gonna search for person working okay now remember i'm looking for one without the crown without the pro feature and see here i've already can see one that is a man working click on this and now it's in my worksheet i'm just going to make it nice and small and now let's see someone uh, doing something uh, so we have this is representing work so i'm going to have uh, live so i'm going to have a person uh, cooking for example once i finish making the questions this is ready to go if i wanted to add more pages there's two things i can do add page now when i go to add page it's going to maintain the core design features of the worksheet so for example if i go to add page it's just going to keep the blue background it's not going to do anything else if i go to obviously duplicate now this is more probably what we're looking for. And imagine I wanted to, rather than eight questions, I wanted 16. So here again, immediately I have two pages now that look identical. And all I need to do here is just change the questions in the boxes. A few features that I found useful when doing some minor edits on worksheets is to lock objects and group objects. So for example, as you can see in this worksheet, this white background is placed behind the questions. And I kind of don't want this to ever move. So I'm just going to click on this and left click and I'm going to go to lock. And so what happens now is that even if I click on this, I can't move it. The second thing is to group objects. And you see here, once I've selected all of these, is it's giving me the option to group them. Now this means that any changes I make, they're going to make changes to all the objects at the same time. And this is useful because Ideally, I want to keep all of these squares, for example, the same size. So I can either select them or I can go to group. And you can see here now, when I move it, they all move together. Sometimes we need to change the aspect to a landscape worksheet. Now, in this example, this works well with a portrait size, but there may be examples where you would like your worksheet to be landscape. Now, let's say for a moment, I'd like to take these speaking cards onto a landscape worksheet. Now obviously there's no quick fix but it does let you copy and paste in Canva. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here. I'm going to select everything that's on this worksheet. Go to copy or control C and I'm just going to go to paste or control V. And as you can see here I'm now on my landscaped worksheet and I have the same design now here. Now this is going to take a little bit of tweaking to make sure it fits on the landscape worksheets. If you would like to have a combination of portrait and landscape, then you're really going to have to be working on two separate documents at the same time. Once we have finished this worksheet, then it's really easy to share it with our students. All we need to do is go to the top right hand corner and go to share. Now we're going to go to download and we're going to get some options. Now, obviously, for this type of document or design, we're going to use PDF. If you would like to share this template with your co-workers, then again, we go to share, go to see all, and we're going to go to this little button here called template link. Once we select this, we're going to create a template link and we can copy this and share this with our colleagues and they can edit this for their class and their students. If you're coming here from another video I made on how to make interactive video lessons for your students, then I'm gonna quickly show you how we can combine Canva worksheets with ISL Collective video lessons. So here I am on the ISL Collective website. Again, if you haven't seen the original video on how to use this, then go check it out now.
And the way this usually works is that we will find a video that we'd like to use in class and we're going to scroll down to where we usually find the questions. So here are the questions and obviously in this particular format, I'm not really a fan of it. I think it's not really very uh, attractive for our students. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Canva, I'm going to go to design and I'm just going to go to something simple like questions. So on Canva, I searched for question and answer and found this template, which I think could work for this worksheet that I would like to create in conjunction with ISL Collective. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the video on ISL Collective, scroll down to the bottom and find the first question. So I'm just going to take number one here, copy this, paste it here. Then I'm going to take the actual question, which is a gap fill. And there you go, I've just created the first question. Now obviously this worksheet is very basic. I could also look for other designs which are a bit more elaborate, maybe a bit more interesting. But again, this is just an example. You can see it was very simple to make the transition over from those questions on ISL Collective over to the Canva worksheet. Thank you for watching this video on how to use Canva to build worksheets for your students. I hope that you have fun using it and I'll see you in the next video.